Hello everybody, this is Anna, also known as Anna Nita on Ravelry. On the screen now you can see where you else can find me. Very welcome to my knitting podcast. And Benny also wants to say hi, I guess. Maybe, we will see. I'm coming to you from Lower Austria, near to Vienna. And it turned out that I podcast bi-weekly now, kind of. I'm a bit busy with um, all my work and pet obedience school twice a week and stuff. So I hope you don't mind that I'm off schedule and not podcast weekly anymore. For now, I don't know how will, how it will be in the future but by now bi-weekly is better for me okay um i have notes and <laughs> that's important because otherwise i would start to ramble and that's benny my dog he's a west highland white terrier yes and he's a bit more than one year old and i like him because he's my dog <laughs> and we are training so much every day we train one hour all the stuff uh, he learn he's learning in the school yes but it's always the same problem i have i don't know if there are other dog owners there maybe it's crazy because on our, in our on our daily walks we go yeah two to three times a day and on our daily walks he's his obedience is very good not perfect, but very good. But at the school, at the talk, um, pet obedience school, he's like crazy and he sniffles the whole yard and isn't, isn't concentrated at all. But yeah, <laughs> we have to train a lot. So that's also a reason why I only can podcast by weekly now. But I don't think that you're interested in this kind of stuff. So let's go right into our alongs <laughs> yes um i'm hosting the blanket along and i draw a winner for as i told you i'm sorry my nose is itchy um and the winner is from poland so i don't know how to really to pronounce the name correct you can see her on the screen now with her entered project agnieszka agnieszka i don't know I already posted in our um, um, blanket along thread and ear burned her. Please contact me, Agnieszka, Agnieszka, <laughs> lady from Poland. Please contact me via Ravelry and give me your address. And so I can ship this beautiful prize out to you. It's a um, bag and hand dyed minis from Laney Knits, who was a former winner in our blanket along. And she added a yogi tea. So a very pretty bag. It's a zipper pulled bag with one, two, three, four, five hand dyed minis. So, okay, that was our blanket along. Now we come to the fall along because we have um, the 2nd of October today. And Benny is running wild because when I start to talk, he thinks, who's there? I want to see him. Or her <laughs> um, yes so the fall along started yesterday and it will go until the 13th of November so we have two full months for knitting all our autumnal projects on my website annanetayarns.com you can uh, see all the rules to enter and be able to win a prize but first of all you have to be a member of the Ravelry group uh, hop over to our thread we have one thread for just chatting and inspiration and we all already have entries there but i will draw the winner from the fo thread it will be the first along um where from from which i want you to finish a project <laughs> until now i only wanted to have you to take part and have fun but for the fall along i want you to finish a project Enter the photo of the finished object in our FO thread. And from there, I will um, draw the winner on November 13th. 13th. I'm sorry, nicht, not 13th. Um, yeah. Okay. The price I will... Shall I do a surprise price? Or do you want to see the price? I will think about it. <laughs> okay. Um, just, just a forecast. Benny, nine. Mm -mm. 
just a forecast. I'm planning to do, no, I decided, I'm not only planning, I decided, here, here is, <laughs> I decided to do um, the Advent along again, like last year, but this time I have a lovely co-host, it's Nina, otherwise known as Ine on Ravelry, and she has a very, very cool and exciting and um, stunning podcast, it's called This Old Knit. I mentioned her several times, and in one episode I must misspelled it I don't know I mispronounced it because many viewer reached out to me asking what was her podcast name I, I didn't get it so it's the this old knit podcast on YouTube yeah and she and me she and me that sounds great <laughs> uh, will host the advent along and this will go from December 1st because advent is very late this year and very short unfortunately, until um, January the 6th. I expanded it because the advent is very short and I guess we are all very busy prepping presents and stuff and so I thought we will take the whole Christmas season to finish our projects and enter it. And there are the holidays and we should use should be able to use the, the holidays the spare time of the holidays to finish our christmas stuff but that's just a forecast the details will come in the next episodes <clears throat> okay i have a half finished object for you this week i finished a sock <laughs> i put a marker here where i stopped last time this is where I was when I podcast two weeks ago and then I turned the heel and knit the sock and it's made out of my hand dyed yarn you can buy in my shop on ananadayans.com one one colorway is still left of the night uh, one skein of the 90s the colorway name is the 90s is still left in the shop for you to buy yeah okay it's on the silver shimmer base I don't know can you see the sparkle yeah, I guess you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a plain vanilla sock. 2 by 2 ribbing, 64 stitches and 2 millimeter needle. And this was my last sock in that combination. I won't knit 2 millimeter with 2 millimeter needles only 64 stitches anymore because maybe you can see how it stretches at the heel. And it's very, it's a bit too narrow on my foot. It's okay, but yeah, I should do more stitches uh, when I'm knitting, if I'm knitting with them again, with two millimeter needles. Okay, wait, please. Benny is playing with this thing here. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it's 75% um, wool, wool like the ones from Regia or Opal, it's a more sturdy wool, the Silver Shimmer Base, and 25% nylon. I like the speckles. I'm very content with this dye lot, so to say. Huh? I like it so much. Okay, I can put off the marker now. That's my only kind of finished object. It's only a half finished because as I told you, I'm so busy. Um, in addition to my work and all the learning stuff and private life stuff, um, I, will, I, I have to attend pet obedience school twice a week and that's much, very much time. I'm just looking for my dog because he found something. <laughs> Okay, then, okay, maybe it's a finished object. Not really a finished object, but for me, kind of, it feels like. Because I finally um, did the border of my so-called February blog. But we have October now, so maybe it's not the Febru February blog. I finished the border, so it will be a corner piece. That's the reason why it's white on this. No, it's a side piece, not corner. So he, here it's wider than on the other three sides. So now I have one, two, 
find three and the next color palette will be green. Yeah. As I told you many times, I tried to do, to do it by color palettes. Here's rosy, pinky, violets and stuff. And blue. Oh, I'm sorry. And that was my first block. And that's just crazy because it was my first one. I try to do it if I like it and stuff. And I haven't had the idea in mind to do it by color palettes. So from now on, I will do color palettes. Um, yes, now we come to the works in progress. So I decided to pick up my dad's sock again because I promised him a few, no, a lot of months ago to knit him a sock. He asked for the socks. Benny, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> he is hearing my neighbor. Huh, I activated Siri. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't say, hey, Siri. Okay. This is the sock for my dad. And it's a, out of a very stunning yarn I received from Sarah from Love Sockwell podcast, I think about a year ago. And when I last showed you, I was here. Oh, the colors show up very good. It's exactly what the sock is, looks like. Okay, when I last showed you, I was here and I did all that. It's made of Madeleine Tosh. Now I know it exactly. Madeleine Tosh and the colorway is Chicory. It's ultra soft. I'm knitting this with two and a half millimeter needle. I think it's 1.5 US size needle. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and I wrote it down how many stitches. 68 stitches. It's a, it will be a shoe size 11. So 45 in European sizes. And now I have a question for you all. Ex because I'm always in the knitter world, they ask or they talking about men's sized socks and not really about women's sized sock, but oh, how many stitches do I need for a men sized sock? And that's a bit confusing for me because every man has an other shoe size. So my boyfriend has a um, tinier, yes, tinier feet than my father, for example, yes. So I can't use the same amount of stitches. So I just wanted to say I have a chart and the chart tells me exactly how many stitches, how long the cuff, how to um, divide the stitches for the heel, how long the foot has to be um, before starting the toe and stuff. It's, it's like science, you know, <laughs> because when I'm hearing Oh, how many stitches do I need for a men's size sock? I think, wow, every man is different. Every man has different feet. So you can't just say in general, oh, you need that much stitches, uh, that many stitches and then go for it. So I, I didn't, I, I really don't get it. Yeah, would be interesting for me. Do you use charts for knitting socks? I take it very serious with socks. They have to fit, you know, so... I measure them really. I don't count rows because no, <laughs> because every, every yarn behaves in a different way. It's thicker, thinner. So I really do measuring with my socks. Yeah. Okay. That's for my dad. I'm in the middle of the heel. <laughs> yes. How do I do the heel? Oh yes. With wrap and turns because I hate German short rows. I found out that the U S guys enjoy our German short rows. I hate them and I enjoy your wrap and turns. I love them. So easy, so quick, just perfect and nearly no holes. Uh -huh. Okay. And now we come to my last work in progress. And it's already for our autumnal along. I can't win a prize, but I want to take part in our along. And it's a very autumnal color. I bought it for our along, so 
Okay. It's made of this beautiful piece made from opal and the colorway is called Dream Journey, Traumreise. And the line, there is a whole collection. The collection is called Wonderland, Wonderland in German. That screams autumn to me <laughs> and Halloween. Here's the tag. And here you can see how the sock will look like. Yeah. And I decided not to do a contrasting cuff, but to knit a very long cuff. It goes from here to here. So I will be able to fold it. I love, I love folded cuffs. <laughs> it's more cozy. And I will do contrasting heel and toe in white. And I like it. It's very fun. I'm knitting this on two and a half millimeter needles. So I think 1.5 US size needles just to have it slouchy and cozy because in the, in the winter I mostly wear my hand knit socks over another normal pair of socks. Yeah, what can I else say about it? I guess nothing. And I'm pretty sure that this will be a quick knit because of the, there's so much going on in the yarn and with self striping yarn, it's always the same for me. It's like, oh, what happens next? Oh, just, just another repeat, just another repeat. And so you're zooming, you're zooming through very quickly. Yeah. And my knitting needles are from Knit Pro and it's the symphony line. Yeah, Knit Pro symphonies. And they are the shorter ones. So they, yeah, 15 centimeters. Read the screen for inches. I'm sorry. Yeah, now I'm have, having two more needles here. I don't know where they belong to, I guess here. Okay, these were my works in progress. <clears throat> now I want to show you what still is left in my shop. So for the ones who are only interested in knitting stuff, that was the knitting stuff <laughs> because I, received a comment uh, where a lady told me sh she would have appreciated it when I have w when I have said when I had said I don't know <laughs> that there will be no more knitting content okay I just want to show you there isn't that much left in the shop but quite a bit um yeah just just a quick here, 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 okay? I won't bother you with long. I will start with Golden Shimmer. What I still have on Golden Shimmer, it's Cherry Tree. Spring Grass. Golden Sunset. Blueberry Shrub. Transition in Space, Color Parade, Benny Us, another transition transition in space. Okay, that was Golden Shimmer, and now we come to Sturdy Sock. So it's the same softness or scratchiness as you want to say it's really true wool it's like opal or regia but it's not scratchy at all uh, the sturdy sock tonal lavender i love this <laughs> mother of pearl from heaven to earth Transition, Latte Macchiato, with this I started the show, <laughs> Flip, Deep in Space, Oh, 
Oh, there is another golden shimmer, the 90s. The sock I knit, but it's on golden shimmer instead of silver shimmer. Sturdy sock again. Spring grass. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> And I think now we only have, no, silver shimmer again. I, I found another silver shimmer. It's the unicorn sneeze. And the last sturdy sock is mother of pearl. And now we come to the superior merino. That's the real, Yes, Superior Merino. It's very, very soft and drapey. All the same yardage, but it behaves a bit different. It's Merino yarn, 100% Superwash Merino. And it's... Yeah, yes, you can throw it in the machine, so you can really knit everything with it, but I would prefer it for shawls, I think. So, here we have From Heaven to Earth. Confetti or confetti. Summer breeze. And mother of pearl. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, just for those who are interested, what you can buy on ananidayarns.com. And I made the yarn cheaper. Each skein of yarn is 25 euro. I had a single base, but it's sold out already. Okay, now I just want a quick showing my coloring because I did a bit and some of you were interested in in seeing my coloring from Joanna Besford Lost Ocean in German Mein Fantastischer Ozean it's not correct it should be Mein Verschollener Ozean but yeah okay I finished in this one I kind of ruined it with the background because I did the background with pastels. I showed them um, the ones I used from Stadler in the last episode and I went over this because I thought I wouldn't cover the colored spaces, but I found out that it doesn't really work. Penny else. Mm -mm. So it covered the coloring a bit. I won't do it again with the pestles over it. I should do the pestles first. Okay, and then I uh, colored on, <laughs> I did go on with my fish. Yeah. And here I used um, mostly Faber-Castell polychromos and some fish like this guy here, the Stedler Triplus. Ergo, no, not Triplus, I'm sorry, Ergo Soft. But I haven't colored since a week or so because now I'm knitting more and yes, I only have a small amount of spare time where I can do that because I also do sports and stuff and yeah. I don't have that much time to do. Um, so yes, that was a quicker episode, but I wanted to bring it out to you uh, because I didn't want to skip another week. So okay, knit on your autumnal projects. Look up the rules and everything on my website. I wrote a tiny little article, article because I like my website <laughs> and I want Oh, yes, and you can find the show notes for this episode on my website. 
for every episode I will do the show notes on my website. <laughs> Benny is doing <laughs> and it makes funny noises. <laughs> Yay. Um, okay, I think we have it. Fall along and come to our Ravelry thread and put all your works in progress in, your, in our Cheddar inspiration thread, but only the finished objects in the FO thread. But I want to see your works in progress also and your yarn choices and to see everything you're doing and stuff. Okay, I wish you a very happy knitting, coloring and everything week. We will see each other, I think in two weeks, maybe. Maybe in one week, but definitely in two weeks. And see you next time. Bye-bye.